Hey, what's up guys? So back in 2014, uh, Jason and my son were playing baseball. We got to talking about hunting. He deer hunted a lot. I was bear hunting a lot back then. And he joined us on a bear hunt one day. So he was piddling with camera and filming. And we made a video, it was called Bear Dogs. He put it on his Vimeo account back in 2015. I think he got it done editing. And that's what you all are getting ready to watch tonight. And it's a killer video. This was the original, like the OG of untamed videos. The only person that what not in the video is Kirk, Chad, Zach, Craig, me. Uh, I don't know if Bucky's in it or not. I can't remember, but it's a killer video. Great dog footage. Hope y'all enjoy it. get to the gas well. Nah, he's still upset the Cowboys won this weekend. There. Yeah, it's going for it. The morning started off pretty typical. It was a December morning, it was cool. We all had split up like we normally do, rigging the dogs, trying to find a track, trying to let the dogs find a scent. At this point, we had rigged around for an hour or so. Nobody had found a track, so we decided to start walking the dogs and breaking some brush on these points and stuff where we were hunting. Got some dogs to our, a couple of our buddies that were going to walk. Craig and I decided that we would just put some dogs on the ground and road hunt them around this old mine bench. And just within a few minutes, I would say within 15 to 20 minutes, uh, our dog struck a bear on the on the road and started trailing it up. But we thought that they were on it because I mean they were when they busted off the road they were gone. So we figured that the bear was up on its feet and somebody else had maybe bumped it across the mountain on us. Craig and I are. Everybody else is way far away from us. It's kind of a foot traffic only area. It's inaccessible to vehicles. There's a lot of high walls. So Craig and I are driving around the, the ridge, the rim of this holler, and trying to get to the other side. Uh, the dogs have stopped at this point, and we, you know, it's either they've caught the bear, they're hung on a high wall, or what, but we just, we're trying to get around to them so we can get in over top of them to see what's going on. We've been running this bear here for the last hour or so. We've run him to a couple hollows, and we know that the dogs have stopped on the GPS, and there's a high wall over there. We know that the bear is either, either treed, or it's bayed, or the dogs are hung on the high wall, and we need to get in there and see what's going on.
as you can see, we're walking into the tree. The bear, he is over the high wall, probably a 50 or 60 foot high wall. And they've got this bear caught on the bench below where we're coming in. And as we're going into the tree, we see the bear come up the tree and he's, and he's straight eye level with us. And Cash is hanging on that bear's run. And that bear drags him all the way up the tree and he's just hanging there. Well, the bear couldn't handle it. He was up here for just a few seconds, pulls him all the way back down the tree and he disappears from us because we can't see all the way to the bottom at that point from up on top of the high wall. <laughs> took care of, dogs did great, and we got it out. This isn't all about the harvest of the bear. It's about the thrill of the chase. It's about listening to our dogs work as they roar through the mountains chasing the bear. It's about the camaraderie amongst all the men and women that gathered that day for the hunt. And it's about the stories that are made that would be told to our future generations. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed the video, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment, uh, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We appreciate all the support.